Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Uh today I'm going to be showing you how to make a halter and lead rope for a slight horse. And this is what you will need. You will need three jump rings. You will need a pair of scissors. You will need ribbon. And of course, you will need a horse. It doesn't have to have a saddle or leg wraps. I just picked this horse out. Uh, or you can also buy a kit with a halter. And I'm going to make one like this. So this is how it works. So you put the nose through that just like that. <laughs> and then so it's both of the ears and then you can just tighten it and then there it goes. So I'm going to be showing you how to make one of those today. So first, I'm going to just follow this. It, I don't care what, how much ribbon or what color you use. I'm just going to use this pretty light blue because it's super pretty. And then guys, we are going to measure it over the head just like this. And then you are going to take your fingers just like that and then take it off the head and then you are going to thread the ribbon through oh, fell off fell off oh no okay guys that was fake uh i was just being awkward there for a moment haha <laughs> 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 very funny olivia okay guys so now that i got my jump ring through i'm just gonna measure it one more time on the head yep that looks about the length it needs to be at and then guys you are just going to take your ribbon you're probably wondering why he, this big how I'm going to put the ribbon together if you if you know how I'm going to put the ribbon together uh, you can just comment down below if if you don't know like how to do this or if you don't have anything that's totally fine you can if you have any wire you can just make the jump rings out of the wire those are just things that you can do if you don't have any jump rings these are the only jump rings i have so they might be a little big but these are just the only ones I have, so I'm just using the ones I have. And then, guys, you are just going to take it again and just measure it around the head. And it should be, like, like that far away from the mouth. And then... Do the same thing with the other side. And just repeat this process one more time until you got it through the loop. And I recommend measuring it around the head a few times just to make sure you have like the right angle and the right amount just to make sure it's perfect because if you mess up on this that's okay just keep on practicing I've been practicing this for a very long time 
so I know how to do this stuff. And then measure it around the head one more time. And yep, that looks actually perfect. And then guys, what you are going to do, you are gonna cut off the extra flare, just like that. And then just measure it around the head one more time. And then guys, what you're going to do, you are going to take your ribbon through the hole, just like that. Through this jump ring. So guys, if that's not long enough, I'd rather have you use a short amount of the ribbon just like that well not a short amount like a long amount because and this is the last of my blue so i will have to use a, another color for like the chin piece So just tie that in a knot, just like that. And then again, cut off the flare, but do not cut off this long piece because you will be needing that. So guys, you are going to put it on the side just like that. And then, of course, measure it around the nose, just like that, one more time, to make sure that you have the right length around the nose. So just keep on measuring that till you have the right length. And then... You're just gonna wanna leave it a little loose around the head so you can take it off. Just like that. Pull it through. This is a little hard to because it's the last of my ribbon, the blue ribbon. And then guys, this is what it should look like. It's a little big, so I'll see you when I get it the right size. Oops, sorry guys. Let's try that again. One second. Okay guys, so I got it and it should look like that. And then cut the extra flare off, just like that. And then guys, I'm just gonna take my dark blue now that I have on my ribbon. I'm gonna cut it. I'm going to take this jump ring, my third jump ring, thread it through. And then guys, what you are going to do, you're going to one, two, do like a circle around the nose. Guys, and if your little jump ring comes off, that's totally okay. You can just put it back on. So guys, what you are going to do, this gets a little complicated when it comes to this part. Mm 
might be like, what? That's not complicated. But it actually is pretty complicated for this part. You're like, I can do this. But then when you come to this part, uh, it gets pretty complicated. So guys, I'll see you when I do that. Okay, guys, I got it threaded through just like that. And now, guys, what you, what you are going to do is you are going to snip just a little bit off. And then it should look like this. You are just going to take it just like that. And then... Make a double knot just like that. And then, guys, now I'm going to be showing you how to make the lead rope. I already made one, just I'm going to take the little string off. So you, you guys can see how to do it. So guys, I'm going to be using this pretty blue one with stars on it. I'm going to find the beginning of it. And then I'm just gonna peel about that much and then this is really easy to rip. I'm just gonna rip it off, just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then you are going to twist it, just like that, to make a very small tip. And then put it through the hole of the clip you can do it with any type of ribbon it can also be leather or anything else if you don't have this material i got basically all this stuff from the dollar store and then so guys now let's get back to the video you are going to just make a little knot and then you're gonna cut this extra little flare off Ching! and then this is your lead rope and then guys see guys you are just gonna attach it through there and then watch. Oh no, this fell out. But see, it made a halter. This is very easy to break. Uh, so I'm just gonna use green. Well, I guess that's all of my green. Okay, there's pink left. So I'm going to use my pink. And then see guys, it makes a little halter. Just like that. And then again, we're just going to thread it through because that, but that ribbon guys, it likes to break very easily. This ribbon doesn't. I can't break it with my fingers or anything. Uh, that's why I rather have you use this ribbon or any type of leather or anything that you can use. Cut off the flare. And then guys, you can just 
take it off just like this. It's very easy to make. Uh, and there is your halter and lead rope. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified that I posted another video. Thanks guys. Bye.